I'd like to talk to you about a common error that I see often in students' papers, um, and it has to do with formatting in Word and how you go from one page, how you move, create a new page when you get to the end of a page that you're typing. I find that some students um, tend to think still like they're typing on a typewriter and when they get to the end of the content for one page, for example here's the title page which is correctly formatted, it's got a running head, it's got the page number it's got the title of the paper, it has the name of the student, it has the affiliation information and that's all that goes on this page um, because we don't have an author's note that's required for um, your submissions in my class. However, when you get to the end of this page what many students do is they hit the enter key repeatedly. So you can see that's what this student did. And so you go, it goes down, the cursor moves down one line at a time, one double spaced line at a time. You'll see there's some indents hidden in there and stuff until it gets down to the next page. Now while that does work, it can cause you problems because when you send your paper to someone else and they open it up on their machine, which is um, connected to a different printer than yours are and maybe slightly different um, um, printing parameters for that printer it can reformat your paper so that your page doesn't actually begin at the beginning of the page so what do you do in that case well the correct way to format this is when you get to the end of the content for this first page, this title page, you insert what's called a hard page or a, pre or a page break. There are three, there are two or three different ways to do this. I'm going to show you at least two of them. Um, and one of the things, one of the ways to do that is to go up in the menu to page layout. And here in the page setup area, you can see there is a breaks option. So we click on breaks and you can insert a page break. And that will end the first page at the place where the cursor is currently at and force a, next, a new page. So let's do that. So you can see that we were at Andrews University and now we are on the next page. If I move, if I use the up arrow to go up one quote line look I end up at Andrews University way up the page because I haven't filled this page with a bunch of enter commands I go directly from the end of the content of the page to the beginning of the next page and what will happen then is even if I send this to someone with a different printer than mine even when it reformats this for the new printer it will go directly from Andrews University to the next page but what happened to the title well remember we had all of those enter commands so the title is way down at the bottom of this page so we have to delete these to correct the formatting here now when you're typing your own papers when you get to the end of the title page just insert the page break Remember, you can do it from page layout. You can also do it here from the insert tab. Then there's page break right there. You can also use what's called a hotkey. And that is to hold the control button and push enter one time. You hold the control button down continuously, then you push the enter key one time. I'll do that and now you can see I've inserted a new page break then I let go of the control key I'm going to delete that though I don't want that extra page break in there alright the other place that I often see the same thing happening is at the end of your paper before the reference list so you can see here's the end of the paper and sure enough there are lots of lines there So let's just get rid of all these lines and see what happens now we've got the reference list right there at the end and again I can insert the page break I can hold down control and push enter which is what I just did or if I undo whoops excuse me if I undo that 
I can go to the insert tab and on pages I can say page break and you see it pops it down to the next page or if I undo that I can go to page layout to the breaks command and insert page break now if you'll remember this is where I also showed you you could insert section breaks and that's important for when you're doing the numbered head or if you're doing different chapters within a document like you might do for your dissertation and you want them separated all right so page break and then you don't have a bunch of lines in there that are going to cause you problems then when you're trying to format it or when you switch printers